Splatoon 3 has a plethora of issues that plague the game, but one of these issues isn't as surface level as you may think. Seasonal updates. Back then, you used to buy a game, plop it in your system, and boom, there's the game. You had everything. But nowadays, you buy a game, wait a few minutes for updates, and after playing the game, you feel like it's unfinished. Some games do this business model better than others, i.e. Fortnite, and others are just bad at it, like Switch Sports. Splatoon falls dead center. Now, the base game had content. An excellent single player with good multiplayer player in a fun side mode, salmon run, drip for days, local multiplayer, tons of customization, the list goes on. This was the best launch of any Splatoon game. Along with this launch were catalogs, basically Splatoon's free battle pass. During each season, which lasts three months, you could level up this catalog to earn new gear, stickers, emotes, and collectibles. And not only that, but each season also introduces new weapons, stages, modes, and more. However, this business model isn't loved by all. It would be if you hit that subscribe button, but I digress. The issue is that when looking at Fortnite, the seasons last about the same time as Splatoon seasons with a little leeway, but updates are added almost weekly. New quests, map updates, skins, battle pass unlockables, there is honestly never a dull moment in this game. Splatoon 3 starts the season, adds literally everything, then gives a single mid-season update that only adjusts the balance of the game. But here's the difference, Fortnite is free to play and makes its money based on how many people are playing at the time. More players means more opportunity for them to buy the battle pass. Splatoon is a one-time purchase of $60. <coughs> <laughs> they want you to play, but they don't want to make you play. Even if you miss certain items in the catalog, you can still get them through the shellout machine in later seasons. But the issue here is that while the lead up to each season is filled with hype and mystery on what we're getting, followed by the first few weeks being pretty fun exploring all the new content, the mid season has no appeal. And the argument could be made that mid season appeals to comp players, but the updates have been nothing special besides 3.1. And besides, comp players don't even make up half of the Splatoon player base, so I don't think appealing to just them is the right move. However, while the content mid-season is dry, each update brings a plethora of new and exciting things to the game that keeps the player base pretty active. However, this content ranges from super exciting new things to something that should have been in the base game. League probably comes to mind when thinking about this statement, because the next update comes out nine months into the game's launch and we still haven't seen it yet, and it's not even guaranteed to be in this update. But when talking about things that should been in the game earlier, the gold dynamo is what comes to mind for me. This thing was in the first trailer for the game, and is what made everyone believe they would ditch kits and instead have weapon skins, but no. Two years later, and we have no sign of it. And to be fair, they've stated that League will be different from the last two games, but I still don't think that's an excuse for not only League, but X Battles and Online Table Turf to not be in the base game. How about instead of one of these modes being the big new season mode, we get a brand new anarchy mode, or ranked turf, or something new to keep players invested more. They are doing it with Salmon Run, we've got extra work, big runs, and more stuff to grind for, which is great to see, but we've had the same 5 ranked modes since 2018. I think they're getting better with updates, as while we're only about 7 months into the game, we've already seen the updates adding more at the beginning and middle of the seasons, and to be fair, I personally enjoy grinding the catalog for new gear and emotes, which last me up until about the middle of the season, where the rest is just me enjoying the game. But that's not everyone. I personally enjoy the update cycle right now, as I never need to grind for anything since I play the game way too much, but again, that's not everyone. And I see the flaws with how the seasons are structured. I think the beginnings are fine, but maybe along with balance patches, they add a few smaller things to keep players invested. Like five new kits, or an entirely new weapon class, or just a single stage. I, I don't know, something not too too huge that would cram the development team, but also enough to keep players invested for a couple more weeks until the announcement of the next season.